In today's video, I'm going to cover 21 mods and resource packs that turn Minecraft into a zombie apocalypse. These are all Forge mods that are available for 1.19.2. You can find all these mods and more in a mod pack I made, the link to which is in the description. These first few mods I will cover quickly because they are the most common and well known. Mob sunscreen prevents mobs, including zombies, from burning in sunlight. Bad mobs prevents the spawning of unwanted mobs, such as creepers and skeletons, so only zombies will spawn. Fresh Animations is a resource pack that improves the visuals and animations of zombies and other mobs. Tissue's zombie pack is another resource pack, but this one changes zombies' appearance and the sounds they make. Mr. Crayfish's gun mod adds multiple types of easily craftable and customizable guns to Minecraft. There are add-ons available for this mod, two of my favorites are Project Arsenal and Additional Guns. Better Combat makes combat with swords and axes more realistic and consequently more challenging. Day Zombies allows zombies to spawn during the day. The amount of zombies that spawn can be configured in the mob's config files. Lost Cities adds cities to Minecraft, which can be enabled from the world creation menu. There are many different presets to choose from, but if you want full control you can manually customize city generation. Terralith is one of the best world generation mods, and one of only a few that are compatible with the Lost Cities mod. Sometimes terrain added by Terralith will conflict with the Lost Cities generation, but more often than not it actually improves immersion by making cities appear more overgrown and overtaken by nature. Alex's Mobs is another good addition. It adds many mobs which can be found all over the overworld and in cities created by the Lost Cities mod. As with Terralith, it improves immersion by making the cities appear more overtaken by nature. This mod has been configured in the mod pack so that no out-of-theme mobs such as fantasy creatures will spawn. The following mods are new to the mod pack and I haven't talked about them in previous videos, so I'll spend more time on them here. The Hordes makes a few changes to Minecraft, which makes zombies more of a challenge. The biggest change is the addition of an infection system. There is a percent chance, 75% by default, that when a zombie hits you, you will be infected. The virus has multiple stages and inflicts multiple negative status effects as it progresses. You will die in 5 minutes unless you eat a golden apple. The other change this mod makes is that when you die from infection, a zombie player will spawn in your place. You must kill it to get your items and your inventory back. Warrior Rage allows you to inflict more damage as you kill more mobs in a row. It is especially helpful if you find yourself cornered by a horde of zombies, and it might give you a chance to escape alive. Roamers adds NPCs that look similar to players. You can find them at campsites throughout your world. Left alone, they will clear out a place to live, eventually build a house, and might have children. They have inventories, are targeted by hostile mobs, and are neutral to players. 90's Gun Expansion is an add-on for Mr. Crayfish's gun mod that adds multiple new guns to the game. This is probably the most faithful add-on to the original mod I've found, as it uses many of the same bullets, has a similar appearance to the original guns, and is nicely balanced overall. Farsighted mobs allow zombies to see you from double the distance away compared to vanilla Minecraft. The distance zombies sees you from can be configured to your liking in the mod's config files. To counter this, the only looking mod makes zombies only target and pursue you when they see you. This can allow you to sneak up or around a zombie that is looking away from you. Edible Zombie Flesh is a mod that I made, which allows you to cook and eat rotten flesh in Minecraft. You can also make bone broth out of bones. Combine bone broth with cooked flesh and you can make yourself some soup. I've had zombie awareness in my mod pack for some time, but there was a mod that was conflicting with it, making it completely worthless. I have recently removed this conflicting mod, and now zombie awareness works to its full potential. Basically, this mod makes zombies more intelligent. Zombies are attracted to sounds, such as breaking blocks and arrows, and will investigate light sources. They can also group together and follow each other around. If you get injured, you will drop blood on the ground, which zombies can smell, to follow you. Advanced Netherite adds new sets of netherite gear made from other vanilla ores, such as iron, emerald, and diamond. These new sets of advanced netherite can be applied to tools and armor and can grant effects such as increased mining speed, higher drops, and increased armor strength. All these mods and more are available in a mod pack link in the description. There are multiple difficulty presets to choose from, so make sure you read up on the differences so you can play a version that is most suitable for you. I am also working on a zombie apocalypse map for this mod pack. 
I have built all the terrain and am well underway in building a large city. I plan to fill the map with drivable cars, guns, and lots of loot and lore to discover. If you would like to support me while I make this map, consider becoming a patron. A pre-release will be available for download soon, so you can see what I've been working on. And if you have any questions about the mod pack, check the frequently asked questions on the mod pack homepage or on my Discord server first before asking. Well, that's it. Just like that, you have successfully turned Minecraft into a zombie apocalypse. You can find all these mods in a mod pack I've made, linked in the description. If you want to check out some other mods that turn Minecraft into a zombie apocalypse that were not mentioned here, I suggest you watch this video next.